Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your summer day or summer night? Leave a comment down below. So this is a summer day slash vlog video. You guys like the videos, I'm trying to bring it back. So I'm going to the movies to see the new Tom Cruise movie with my fiance Kelly and some of her friends. I'm wearing the scent of the day. It's called Fragrance Atomic de Monaco. And this is O'Care. This is a new fragrance from the brand. I will leave a link down below to Perfumology where you can pick up samples or buy bottles. I'll post the notes on the screen so you guys can see a note breakdown. I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and let you guys know if I like it or I don't. Hope you enjoyed this cool vlog, but if you do, give me a like, leave a comment down below, and make sure you get subscribed to the channel for more content. Let's go. Throughout the chain on my wrist, I wanted it to dangle a little bit, so we adjusted until I was happy with it. Then, Kalina welded the ring together. What's up guys? About to walk into the movies. Here with Kelly. She says the movie's gonna be too long. Three hours. But <laughs> Okay guys, I just got back from seeing a Tom Cruise movie. It was me, fiance Kelly, her friend Allison, and other friends read the shout to them for coming. I sprayed a fragrance on like, I say five, 10 minutes before we actually got to the movie theater. They showed up and Saritha was like, hey, you smell really good. So that was compliment number one. So I don't really look for compliments at all. You guys know that I wear fragrances just to see if I like them, test them out, so on and so forth. So I wore this fragrance here from the house of Thomas D. Monaco, this is O'Care. This one here is pretty cool. Um, I like the name of it, it's pretty different. So I picked up the sample at Perfumology. I'll leave the link down below if you wanna buy a sample. Um, I'll show you a picture of the bottle on the screen here. So this one here comes in one size. It's a 50 ml bottle, it's gonna run you $290. And they do have a sample, which I have here, it's a two ml sample. It's gonna run you about $10. So leave the links down below. Now. This does have a little bit of a freshness um, from the Magnolia. Kind of like a flowery, lemony type of feel in the opening. Definitely getting some Orphmanthus. So Orphmanthus is in the fragrance and it's coming from like this fruitiness, apricot, milky, kind of creamy like in the fragrance. I have it on my skin here, but this is more in a dry down here. So I'll get to that later. We're picking up some pink pepper. So you're getting some spices in this fragrance as well. You get to the middle of the fragrance, you're picking up some rosy touch in the fragrance. Not an overall rosy scent, I wouldn't say that, but you're definitely picking up some rose in the fragrance, some spiciness, and you're getting a lot of fruitiness in this fragrance, which is coming from the Orthomantis, which is not bad if you like a fruity fragrance. And as soon as she saw me, she said, oh, you smell great. She's like, that smells good. So it's always good when you have a female that knows I wear fragrances, but she doesn't have to give me a compliment. She's like, oh, you smell really good today. And it was pretty nice to hear that from a new fragrance that I'm testing out or giving it a first uh, trial bases as a test drive. You're definitely picking up some embroxing and some musky and tonka bean to dry down. The dry down here. Now, definitely in the dry, you're picking up some sweetness from the tonka bean, and you're definitely picking up some muskiness. So you kind of get this musky um, tonka bean embroxing the fragrance as well. Kelly said it was pretty strong off of my skin, and I did about one, two, three sprays from the sample, which is probably a lot, but anyway. It was a nice scent. Um, went to the movies, nobody complained. The person next to me was not, it wasn't offensive at all, which is a good thing. Cause you know, you don't want to go somewhere and say, oh man, your fragrance is too strong, man. Like you shouldn't wear that. You know, it's always a bummer, but it's a good fragrance. I like it. Kelly gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, she said it smells good on my skin. Now she just smelled the dry down. She smelled the opening earlier. And I give it the same thing, a 7.5. It's nice. 
I really enjoy it. This is one where you're gonna have to definitely test it on your skin and see if you like it or not. Just cause the note breakdown isn't something you particularly see in a basic fragrance. Very little bit different with Dolph Mantis and the Pink Pepper and uh, Magnolia. Definitely getting some rose as well. It's a nice scent. Could it lean unisex? I feel like, yeah. I mean, some people might think it leans feminine just cause of the rose in it. But don't be misjudged. Try it out for yourself and see if you like it. So longevity is still on my skin. So I spray this fragrance around five o'clock. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So you're looking at about one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven hours on my skin. I feel like you're probably in between that eight to 10 hours of longevity. So it's pretty good so far. Still on the skin. I can smell it like right here. So it's not a bad scent. Performance is pretty good. Projection is good for like the first, I want to say two hours or so. It does radiate beyond the arms length. People can catch wafts of it. So it's pretty good. Will I buy a bottle? Maybe down the road. I'm not really sure. You know, um, definitely I have other fragrances I would like at Perfumology I would like to buy first on my list. But this one here will probably make the list somewhere in the future. You guys tried any fragrances from the house of Thomas D. Monica? Let me know down below. They have raw, raw gold, which I like. They have Grand Beauty, which is another one as well. So they have three fragrances. This is their third one. And I'm excited to see what else they have from the brand coming soon. If you like any of them or have tried them, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, please show your support by liking the video. That shows you like this content. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, which you can watch video after video. And make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, you guys be safe. I care about all you guys around the world, and I'll catch you next video very soon. Peace.